Hi, today I'm going to talk to you about Microsoft Link 2010 licensing. There's three different components to link licensing that you need to be worried about. The first is your server licensing, second is your client access licensing, and then your actual client licensing. For Link 2010, there's two different types of server licenses, standard and enterprise. The standard version gives you a single server configuration and you're limited to 5,000 users on a box. Now, if you need more users or you're looking for high availability functions, you should move to the enterprise licensing. It provides multiple servers, capabilities to be uh, split the roles up on different servers as well as have multiple roles on different servers for high availability and higher capacity and scale. Secondly, for client access licenses, there's three different types and they're additive. You start with standard, then you add enterprise, and then plus to get all functionality within Link. Within standard, to get the basic functionality, which is IM, presence, point-to-point -point video, file transferring, and application sharing, you're going to need the standard cal. Once you want to add multi-party audio or video or web conferencing, you're going to have to purchase the enterprise cal. So this has to be purchased as well to get that functionality. Now, something a lot of my clients are looking to link for is the voice capabilities. In order to get the voice capabilities, you're going to have to purchase the Plus licensing. Some of these features include dial-out to the uh, PSTN phone network, uh, telephony, so you can do routing, parking, forwarding calls, as well as single number reach. Next, you have to look at your clients. So, uh, there's a few different ways to get your clients as far as purchasing them. That's the client that's actually on the desktop. First of all, there is a web version, so that's one way to do it without purchasing uh, client licensing. The other ways are to purchase a link client individually by itself. Another way you can get it is by buying Office 2010 Professional Plus. Within that suite, they include the link client. And lastly, if you subscribe to Office 365 with an E3 or an E4 subscription, you're going to get Office 2010 Professional Plus included, uh, which will include uh, a link license within it. So hopefully my lesson on Microsoft Office, uh, I'm sorry, Microsoft Link 2010 is helpful today. And uh, please post any of your questions.